a college basketball season can be defined by a number of things. You can look at a team's conference record, their points per game, their assist to turnover ratio. But to find the true meaning of a team, you need to go beyond the court. This video will follow the Pitt State women's basketball team as they depart Pittsburgh, Kansas for the NCAA Tournament's Elite Eight. Welcome to Pittsburgh State Athletics version of San Antonio Stories. A six hour bus ride lands the gorillas in Allen, Texas, just outside of Dallas, where they'll rest for the night before they depart early Sunday morning. From their hotel, the team will head to Allen High School, where they'll spend about an hour going through drills in preparation for Tuesday night's game against the Shaw University Bears. The gorillas are making their sixth overall appearance at the NCAA tournament, with no previous squad making it farther than the first round. But after a 24-4 regular season and a whirlwind ride through the first three rounds of their regional tournament, 50-year head coach Lane Lord has found himself in uncharted territory. After another six hours on the road Sunday morning, the Gorillas arrive at their team hotel in San Antonio, where they'll spend the majority of their time up until their Elite Eight showdown Tuesday evening. San Antonio, the home of the famed Riverwalk, is located in the south central part of Texas, and with a population of 1.3 million, it reflects the class and excitement that one has come to expect with the NCAA tournament. I think we're all very excited to be here um, on Sa in San Antonio, um, especially me in San Antonio. The weather is great. I think it makes us even more happy to be here. Um, and I think we're all excited to be here over spring break. We're not missing any school, and we started out here and Coach Lord said that we can make it here, and we are, so I think we're all excited about that. San Antonio is where we started our season, and it was a lot of fun when we came here the first time and to experience our team um, as a whole for the first time. And so now, as we've been through almost six months of season, we, we're definitely a different team and we're a lot stronger, but it's so exciting to come back here. I mean, the weather's gorgeous. Monday morning brings 80 degree weather in downtown San Antonio, and with it, a fully loaded schedule for the team. After a busy morning of community engagement with a local middle school and a full practice in the afternoon, the gorillas are invited to attend a champion's banquet. On the way, getting a team picture taken in front of the world famous Alamo. The event was held at Buckhorn Saloon and Museum. And to go along with the interesting wall decorations, the Gorillas' night ended with a surprise, as Pitt State Reserve player Lisa Elmer received the Elite 89 Academic Award for her perfect 4.0 GPA. As the night came to a close, storms rolled into the city, with the team's matchup against Shaw to come the following evening. The Gorillas left their team hotel to a sea of crimson and gold fans waiting in the lobby. And upon arriving at the arena, the atmosphere seemed to trump any regular season contest. The Gorillas and the Bears spent the majority of the first half fighting for the lead, with Pitt State falling victim to physical play which forced their two main post players into foul trouble. But in the second half, the Gorillas did what they had done throughout most of their season, by overcoming adversity and defying the odds in order to make the game close. But in the end, it was Shaw University that would advance, ending Pittsburgh State's Cinderella story before the ball was over. Basketball, like any other sport, is a game of statistics. And while years from now the record books will show that the Gorillas were one of the top eight teams in the country, 
the experience, the camaraderie, and the joy that these players had will show much, much more. Lane Lord's team left San Antonio without a championship trophy, but having gained an experience that young players all over the country dream of. Representing their school on a national stage and being a part of something that these players won't soon forget. This has been San Antonio Stories, the road to the Elite Eight.